Hello and welcome back to my How to Start a Young Horse series where we are into part 12 where we take DW on his first field trip. So we loaded this boy up on the trailer and we brought along one friend for him, his buddy Trooper, who's a six-year-old, a little bit more experienced traveler um, than Dubs. And we just drove about 15 minutes over to a neighboring farm, Willowbrook Farm, where we keep um, some horses in training and teach some lessons. Um, this is the kind of field trip I like to take them on the first time. It's not a long trailer ride. I know the roads really well. I know it's going to be quiet. And we're going over to this other farm where there is a big open arena. Um, it's a friendly place. I don't like to take my first field trip, if I can help it, to a place I don't know. And I also don't really like the first time to be going to a show because that's just so much activity. This is a bigger, busier boarding barn than my place, but uh, I know it to be a friendly farm uh, that's very safe. So we unload Dubs first and then bring his buddy off and my girls walked him around for a little bit and just let him graze. And then McKenna here is walking him in the big arena and just letting him see the sights. He gets to just walk around um, and doesn't have to go right to work yet. He can smell all the poop. He can stop and look at things. Uh, I like to imagine, think of what it's like to take a walk down the road with a four or five year old kid. They want to stop and look at every leaf and every bug and everything. And you're not going to allow them to be obnoxious, but it would also not be nice to say, hey, don't you look at that bug. You know, we have we have to get down the road to this place. So I think the same thing with a young horse. I'm going to let him stop and look. I'm not going to insist that he go right to work and be focused. However, I am going to insist that he be polite and not barge over me and so forth. But Dubs is such a friendly, pretty laid back guy that I don't have to worry too much about him being terrified. Uh, the only thing I'm thinking is that he might get a little too excited and be kind of bargy because he can be a little bit too much in your space. But you see here, he has to smell every poop. And that's the kind of thing that I think, sure, just stop and smell every poop. There's no harm in that. It makes him feel more at home. So we're just going to hand walk a little bit, let him see the sights, let him relax, make sure his heart is not beating fast and just let him settle and sort of have fun with this. And then once he's settled, then I will put him to work a little bit. My plan for the day is just to lunge him here and then we're here to do some free jumping if he's calm. So we set up the shoot, the free jumping shoot while we were just hand walking him around uh, actually while we were letting him graze outside and so now I'm letting him just walk through the chute with me so he's a little looky you know there's a fluttering caution tape there that's a little scary he's never seen jumps like this before but this is all great for him I'm not going to pressure him with much but I want him to just see everything and have this experience of something different so I've put um, just a bridle on him and then because I don't have a saddle to hook the reins to, he kind of immediately pulled the reins forward and almost over his head. So we're going to stop here for a second so that he does not step on his reins. And I just took his reins off his bridle because he doesn't need reins on. So I took the reins off and we're going to lunge. He's again needing to be detective here and smell every poop. Um, and so I want to lunge him, but I also want to let him just play a little bit if he wants to run and buck a little bit this is such a nice enormous arena he can really open up his canter even more so than in my arena at home so this is actually a great opportunity to let him just go a really giant circle and go nice and forward and stretch and open up and play as long as he's not getting out of hand in terms of being dangerous I'm fine with him playing a little bit shaking his neck bucking a little bit he's not really much of a bucker but if he were to buck and play a little bit I don't stop them immediately I just insist that they keep going forward and then if he were to get you know very very nervous and just galloping then I would stop him but he's clearly not headed in that direction so I'm going to let him just lunge a little bit once he's kind of more focused, then I'll ask him a few questions like trot, walk, trot transitions, back up to canter, 
uh, and then we'll go the other way, and then we're going to send him gradually through the jumpsuit shoot. So we'll go to the right now, let him look. Here he wants to play a little bit, that's fine. He just has to go out, he has to go forward. And I have to try to keep my lunge line organized. So this kind of playfulness I think is fine for them. Um, I, I don't really like it when people immediately pull the horse in and stop them from bucking because I think it's still in there, right? Like it needs to get out and you need to channel that energy in a positive direction. So I don't want to tell him, no, you cannot buck. I want to tell him, yeah, come on, get it out, <clears throat> play a little bit, go forward and then tell him, you're a good boy. See, now your back feels better. Now let's just trot on. And I'm trying to move the circle a little bit around the arena so that he sees all the different things since he's never been to this barn. Let him see that RV shed there. Let him go further down the arena and see closer to the barn. Let him move over towards the jump chute and see that. Let him go around the piles of poop until he stops trying to sniff every single one. So we're just moving around, looking at everything. And now that he's more relaxed, I'll maybe ask him a couple more questions about transitions and going back up into the canter and I want this first experience hopefully if I can help it to be really fun and enjoyable and not stressful so I'm not going to ask him to do the most he can do at home I'm going to ask him to do something easy today like just lunging and then I'm going to introduce him to this idea of the jump shoot but with very 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 low jumps if he's relaxed about it. I don't want to take him today on his first experience ever and try to ride him and make him round and go in a class at a show. That's too much to ask the first time out. So here we're going to just run through the jump shoot in hand and let him trot over things and then he starts to figure it out and by the end he did that and he went over both jumps and did a great job and he thought that was great fun. So also part of his education is everything else that's involved with going somewhere. So not just the work that he does, but now he has to come in this strange barn and get a bath because he got sweaty. It's very hot today. So he's never been in this barn. He's a little nervous. There's other horses in the stalls, but this is all part of his education. He needs to come in. I'm going to let him pause and look at things. I certainly would not, because he stopped there and didn't come, I certainly would not immediately have somebody behind him with a whip shoving him forward. We just let him get in there gradually. We gave him a shower. I did not try to tie him to the cross ties because that's a bit much. And then we got home and he got to eat lots of grass and he felt like a superstar. So I was very proud of him for his first outing. It was easy. It was stress-free. I think he had a great time and hopefully his first experience with going somewhere is that it was super fun and a lot of excitement in a good way. So please subscribe for more videos and let me know if you have any questions.